Oh, oh man. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that was insane. All right, everybody, we made it to Deer Creek, calling an audible, and yes, audible is gonna be the keyword for this vlog. Oh man, oh man. Remember uh, all the forethought I put into uh, planning out the trail running gear in yesterday's vlog? Well, it didn't work out. Uh, basically, you can see the dark clouds rolling in. I checked the weather before heading to the mountains, and it's not good. Basically, whenever weather rolls into Colorado before 11 a.m., you know it's gonna be a bad day up on the mountains, and that is one thing that I do not mess with. It's lightning. I just do not appreciate lightning. I don't. I like to watch it. I, I even like to listen to it a little bit from afar, but up close, it is not a good thing to mess with in the mountains, so I call it an audible. That's the key word, and actually, let's do it. Question of the day. When was the last time you had to call a, not a, I don't, want, I don't want to say a major audible, but you had to call an audible in your training, whether it was with respect to a workout, a, uh, a how far you run, or the location like I had to do today. Even here at Deer Creek, I got to be a little careful because the clouds are already rolling in and it's not even noon yet. So, uh, but I will be below tree line, so that is good. All right, super cross from Solomon or the Speed Cross 5. What should it be? What should it be? Supercross, that's right, we're going to, with Supercross, and yes, First Impressions publishing at 5 p.m. today of the newly released Solomon Supercross. This is brand, you can't even get it. Uh, where I'm seeing it right now is on REI, and I think it's available from Running Warehouse. I'll double check that, uh, and I'll link it down below if it is, but REI, I know, is carrying it for sure. All right, let's lace up. Quick, quick addendum to yesterday's, or two, yeah, I think it was yesterday, maybe two days ago, the first impressions for the Hoka Rincon. Thank you for all the pronunciation corrections. I remember Ricardo Rincon, the pitcher for the A's and the Indians back in the day. So anyway, that's where the pronunciation was coming from. I realized Ricardo Rincon, but it's actually pronounced Hoka Rincon, as in like con man, I guess. So thank you for everyone that uh, caught that for me. All right, we're almost ready to roll out up Deer Creek. Gonna go eight miles today, because basically once again, back to the audible, I'm switching today's workout, what was supposed to be today's workout for tomorrow, because I did check the weather and it's gonna be, they're saying absolutely no precipitation in the entire state of Colorado tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, I suppose. All right. Let's rock and roll in the Solomon Supercross. Hard to say Supercross and not Speedcross, I must say. If you've been watching this vlog a long time, you know there's three things in this world I do not like, and that's snakes, rye bread, and yes, lightning 
And sure enough, there was a good, you can hear the thunder now, there was a good bolt of lightning up there. Six or seven people, including myself, just bombed off the mountain to get away from it. And so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm going back to the car right now. Uh, and it's starting to rain real nice, real nice. Oh man. Yes, I don't like rye bread. Lightning is striking very close now, so I'm just, I'm out of here. I am out of here. Okay, I don't know if I even mentioned audible when I say that. It's a football term, so when a quarterback goes to the line of scrimmage and he has to change the play right at the line of scrimmage because of the defense, that's called an audible. So I just called an audible today a couple times, actually, and this is life, right? You just got to be flexible and just don't be afraid to tell yourself it's good. <laughs> to see another day on this earth, you know what I mean? So it's just not worth it. But I still did get 7.7 .7 miles in, so we will take it. I was shooting for eight, came up a, a quarter mile short, but that's all right. And there's blue sky to the west, but what are you gonna do? Gotta, gotta move on. Sorry about that. I hit the mute button on my audio pack a minute ago. So what I was saying out on the patio is that I'm I'm uh, packing again for tomorrow's mountain run. I was giving a shout out to a gentleman, Mark, who sent me a pair of shoes that I'm about to show you. And I went inside the house, grabbed the shoes, and I'm going to use them for tomorrow's mountain run. So that's what I was uh, that's what I was sharing out there on the patio. All right, today's run: eight miles, almost eight miles, 13k. Uh, 1,800 feet of vertical gain, so about five, a little over 500 meters of vertical gain and loss, and the foot is feeling amazing. And a couple days ago on Strava, I labeled a 10-mile run that I did. This I titled it, uh, what did I say? I said, um, not out of the woods yet, but I can see the meadow. And I firmly believe that, all right? The foot, the, it's just, I, I actually text my brother today. I said, uh, about four days ago, there was a distinct shift in how the foot felt. And who knows, maybe it was exactly that eight or nine week mark since the injury happened and it was, a, it was very distinct. And I was like, huh, this feels different. So that is a good, good sign. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I just took my first step into the meadow, okay? And this is exciting. And yes, tomorrow's run is gonna be another good test despite having to call an audible today. And yes, it was a mini audible. Lightning, that's miniature compared to a big audible where let's say you get an injury and you have to completely change your training schedule uh, or your training blocks for an entire calendar year, frankly. So I'm actually gonna spend some time tonight rebuilding my next training schedule, uh, training block for the Pikes Peak Ascent and later races into the fall. All right, sound good? And yes, where are the shoes? Oh no, actually, I actually put them outside. Hold on one second. All right, I got them, ladies and gentlemen, I got them. All right, so the shoes that I've never worn before. I've never worn this, this brand before, okay? You ready for this? Shout out to 
Sal Ming from Sweden. That's right, Sal Ming from Sweden. A pretty, I would say, obscure company here in the United States. Not many people, I rarely see this company out on the trails here in Colorado. So this is Sal Ming, the Trail 5 edition of their line, their trail running lineup. And it's a five millimeter drop. I do know that much. So I will get you my first impressions tomorrow of the Sal Ming Trail 5 out of Sweden. Shout out to Sweden and all the Nordic countries. I think I've asked this before, but anyway, I'm, I'd be curious to, to hear how popular Sal Ming is in your area of the world. All right, that is it for today. Ladies and gentlemen, again, second video publishing today. First impressions of the Solomon Supercross at 5 p.m. today, mountain time, my time. So come back for that. Uh, first impressions of those bad boys up there. And I love, oh, there's a moth. And I love you. Thanks for being here. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Or at five.